Hey guys, what's going on? Rick here. Today I'm going to be doing kind of like a vlog style uh, video. Haven't done one in a while. There's a lot of things that have changed on the farm. And so come along with me. Before we start though, make sure you guys ring that notification bell and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. So one thing that has been like a number one to do lately and Papa's been on my butt about it and as he should be, um, we have some Cornish crosses right now and those Cornish crosses at the moment are in the uh, first generation chicken coop or um, the, uh, the love shack, I like to call it the love shack. It's where we do all of our uh, breeding. Um, we just had uh, four Easter Eggers, four or five Easter Egger hens, along with our uh, Easter Egger rooster, Doofus. Um, we just took them out and hid the, the eggs for those girls are actually the incubator and they're due in like two or three days. So probably shouldn't even be making a video right now. Should probably be back there working on uh, the uh, on the chicken tractor, um, so we can go ahead and get these gals out of guys and gals because we got a straight run. Um, get these guys out on pasture, uh, but you guys need an update, so we're gonna do that first. But look at these girls and guys. These things are getting big. They're really hot right now. Um, you know, it's hard for these uh, these chickens to kind of get out of the shade simply because. This is you know, the tall coop and they really do need to get out of the shade or they really do need to get out of the sun and into pasture. Um, we're doing pretty well so far. Uh, you know, it's hard keeping water in the pail right there because they go, I mean, they, they drink it. Uh, they go through about half of that in a day. And then we got the little giant over there and um, they stay at that feeder. Uh, just filled it up. I think they're on their third bag, I think. Anyway, um, they're getting big though. Uh, so we just had some family down. Uncle Jimmy and Aunt Lee, we had them down for a little while. And uh, they were kind of hanging out with us and helping get some stuff done. Last couple, uh, actually, yeah, last couple days. Last couple days of them being down here. Jimmy was actually helping uh, Papa with the dividing um, dividing run of fence that's actually going to split the uh, split the buck pasture in two paddocks. They're going to be one acre paddocks apiece, and that is simply for separating the bucks during breeding season um, instead of having them. You know, having to run Einar over here and having to run Jarl over here. Uh, this way, we can go ahead and have one of them right here, and then there will be another one way over there on the other side of the buck barn. We got Monster Boy out here. Monster Boy! Hey, buddy. Oh. Almost forgot. There's really not nothing. There's really nothing that has changed on this uh, since we last posted it up on YouTube or Facebook, for that matter. To be honest with you, if you guys aren't following us on Facebook, uh, head on over there and type in the La La Farm. Uh, and I'm pretty sure Dad also leaves a or Papa leaves a link in the description below. You guys check us out on there. If you're not following us on Facebook, go ahead and follow us on Facebook. So. Then you can tell all of our Facebook followers to go ahead and head over to YouTube and subscribe over there. Anyway, this is all we've gotten so far. 
Still got those out. Grass is getting tall. That's another to-do list that needs to be done like now, not later. But again, y'all need an update. Dad got all of the uh, all of the roofing done, or all of the framing uh, done for the roof. Now, now we're just more or less ready for the uh, the tin roof to go on top. I don't see any of the boys. Probably soaking up some of this shade because whoo, it's hot in Florida. It's like 100% humidity. I know Dad tells you all the time in the videos. 100% hum humidity. Whew, man, it's true though. It's hot. Hi, Chewy. Hi, Chewy, Chewy. Hi, Chewy, Chewy. Hi, buddy. Yeah, Yarl over there. An old heat, heat seeker. It's funny, Mama loves coming down here and, and feeding these guys and Heat Seekers, not off of Heat Seekers, the brown one. You can see his tail right there. Heat Seeker is not off of a super social mama. Um, he's off uh, fancy and, but I tell you what, we brought him over here and he went from being anti-social to every time Lala walks over to the barn, he's sure enough in her pocket. I don't know if y'all can see him, but you got Einar in there. He's being smart laying down. But we only have five bucks in here right now. And I bet y'all are probably wondering what happened to all the little Billy kids. I'm gonna roll y'all some footage right now. This was of a vlog that was supposed to be a vlog, but never turned into a vlog because I never posted it. So go. Hey guys, welcome to the farm. And uh, today's kind of a bittersweet day. Uh, it's the first time that we're gonna be taking our um, our kids to our goat kids to the auction. We made it. North Florida livestock market. Madeline's asleep. Bubba's awake. Lala's Lala. navigating. Lala's annoyed because I'm on the, the camera. I have not been holding it the whole time. So. But I am gonna have to navigate through this parking lot, so Lala's about to hold on to the camera. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to allow us to uh, to record, and I'm not gonna ask. So we're gonna go ahead and unload the girls and unload the boys, and then uh, um, you know, pick it back up whenever we get them unloaded. Morning, Betsy. You realize it's like 4:30 in the afternoon. Miss sleeps all day. Those guys are best friends. I guarantee you if I let Betsy out right now, those two will go running off into the sunset. Monster, tell them it's hot. Tell them it's hot, monster. What? Eclipse. Hi, baby girl. Hi, baby. Mom's actually been talking to this lady on Facebook. Uh, it's actually one of my old FFA advisors. Anyway, I'm 32. This was an FFA advisor whenever I had first came out to Baker County. 
It was just a uh, super, super intelligent little skateboard kid um, moving from the big old city to the country. And I had uh, Mr. and Miss and uh, those were my two FFA advisors. Well, now, like umpteen hundred years later, Miss is wanting a goat. And she has decided to get some of possibly, it's not set in stone yet, but possibly get some of our Kiko goats. So that'd be pretty cool. Mom was telling me about that yesterday. I found that pretty amusing. Picture ear monster. I almost caught it. It was all cockeyed. Anyway, we took, we ended up taking 12, um, 12 uh, goats to the market. We did really, really well. There will be a video coming out here, I don't know, hopefully, hopefully here pretty shortly. Uh, but it's been a bit, it has been a video that we've wanted to do for a while. And it is how to choose your goats which ones to keep around which ones to cull which ones to uh, sell for breeding stock on other farms um, and my dad has uh, you know he's come up with this excel spreadsheet that's just absolutely phenomenal in keeping track of everything from uh, the kid weights and the uh, ratio between male and female and you know you can compare it to other the other does so right now you know our main breeding billies are Einar and Jarl over there in the buck pasture and uh, Jarl's killing Einar right now um, he's got way bigger babies by about a pound a piece and he's also slung way more females than he has billies and so Jarl's proved himself already um einar is definitely falling behind in the first year but we're not quite sure if it is the does or if it was einar and so we're gonna definitely run them one more season um and then after which uh you know either continue using him if he if he shows well uh this next kidding season or maybe sell them for other somebody else's uh, uh, breeding breeding stock. I don't really know what else there is. Me and Chelsea, with Papa, went to um, went to we went to the trailer place or the mobile home dealer and uh, kind of showed Dad the mobile home that we were thinking about getting, which he said that looks awesome. That will fit y'all very well. Uh, and um, kind of went over finances and figuring out how much we were going to owe at, at down payment and all that kind of stuff. And so there's really not much progress made on the on the trailer, unfortunately, or the house in the back, unfortunately. Um, but I'll definitely keep you guys in the loop on that. Really not much more to talk about. Like I said, aunt and uncle, they just came and left. Um, and oh let me walk over here so what i have been working on um probably not as much as papa would like me to be working on it but what i have been working on like i had expressed earlier in the video with the cornish crosses we really need to get these girls out on fresh pasture moving them daily uh that way they can go ahead and start scratching um, and getting out there and being chickens because right now they're all cooped up. They're not moving anywhere um, They'll still taste good uh, But we want them out there scratching enjoying life while they're here, you know They are for-profit birds or for for human consumption birds um, They're not here. They're not gonna be here long enough to lay eggs or nothing like that. I mean these birds grow insanely quick, but that right there is their chicken tractor but uh, i have not done much videoing uh this chicken tractor being built simply because it is the first chicken tractor that we have built and there was definitely some 
mistakes made, design changes, and some original design flaws, and some mistakes that I had made, and running out of PVC, and not cutting all of the PVC perfectly to length. And so, as you guys can see down there, I had to put a couple couplings on there, little connectors. Same thing right there. It's kind of an eyesore. Um, originally, I had just put this one piece at the end, not thinking to myself I would be pulling it. And so we added two more vertical supports. Uh, we were originally just going to have one beam running across the top. Then we put in another vertical support in the middle which is why we ran out of PVC and had to get more couplings and all that kind of stuff. And so, that's the chicken tractor frame. Uh, me and Papa will be working on installing the roof. Haven't quite 100% made up our mind whether or not it's going to open from the ends or have one long uh, one long door on the side, one of the sides that'll open. Um, that way we can climb inside. I know for the purpose of getting the chickens out of the chicken tractor, whenever we are ready for harvest, it would be much, 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 much easier to go ahead and run a hinged door all the way down one side. That way you're not having to climb in six and a half foot to the other side. Anyway, it's one hell of a hot summer. And we really do appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Uh, we enjoy sharing all of these videos with you guys. Um, you guys take a little bit of time after this video to kind of look back at a couple of the other videos that we've posted within the last couple weeks. Um, lots of informative videos mixed in with some uh, comedic things. If you guys have not seen the video of Lala showing you three health check tips, you should definitely check it out. If you don't even watch the whole thing, just watch like the first, I'd say minute of it. It's hilarious. The rooster, the rooster feels the same way about Lala as Lala feels about that rooster. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell. If you found the video entertaining, leave a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you guys for visiting the farm. Remember, always be kind. That's what Lala says treat others as you would like to be treated again thank you for visiting the farm bye all right guys hey guys so we were on our way home and i told lala that we we're gonna stop at this very fancy establishment right here it's very very fancy establishment but i don't know if you can see that right there right there that's a good sign that's a good sign that that's a fine establishment. Let's show them, Mama. Let's show them. You ready? Uh oh. Bang! Old chicken gizzards. <laughs> it's a good, good dipping sauce. It's garlic <laughs> hot sauce. Oh, man. I got some good gizzards here. I'm going to enjoy. <laughs>